What's up YouTube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can uh, read write update and delete data from cloud firestore database so let's begin so uh, before continuing to this video if you don't know the basic concepts of uh, cloud firestore uh, and you are confused in uh, between the uh, firebase real-time database and cloud firestore database uh, and their concepts uh, do watch the video in the description i'm also recommending you the video because uh, cloud firestore also has some uh, new concepts like documents and collections that may be completely new to you so it is absolutely necessary uh, to get uh, all those concepts and then move on to this video so first we will go to the firebase website and you have to log in to, into your google account to proceed so click add project here type the name I'm gonna name it cloud.js click continue and uncheck this uh, Google Analytics now create the project Now continue to the project and let's go to the cloud fire store. Create database button. We will start in test mode and we can change these uh, rules later. So for now just click next and you, uh, you should use uh, the server which is closest to you so for me the Asia server is closest to me so enable so our cloud firestore database is ready now we will go to the project overview and we need to add an app so here is our web app and now we have to give it a name so cloud you can also turn on the firebase hosting if you want to host uh, your website on firebase hosting in the future register app continue to console you can see that there is one app go to this setting button and down here here is your config so this is what we need so now I'm gonna prepare my HTML page so now let's create input for each of these now I also need line breaks after each of these so and HR tag after them now I need some buttons with IDs insert button so we need these four buttons we also need to change these to roll section and gender so this is what my page is gonna look like so this is my page design now our design is finished and we are ready to code cl the cloud firestore database so first we need these three libraries so I will link uh, these libraries in the description so you don't have to do anything just copy and paste one thing you need to do is you need to change this version to the latest version inside your web app so uh, go to here CDN and check what is the latest version that you have so currently it is 8.2.1 I need to update 
the version in all of my library. So now I can proceed. Now here I will I am declaring my main script. So I am creating some variables over here. So name t equals to document dot by id and the name t box. So I am declaring these va uh, variables because I will be needing these text boxes later. So now I am going to declare some more variable named. So I have declared these four variables. I am going to link these variables to these inputs. So whenever a user types something or we can say input something the value of these inputs are saved within these variables so whenever the user input something new in the uh, text in our uh, text boxes the value gets updated right away within their respective variables so now i'm gonna create the update function So the update function is like this. I need value and the type of the input. So So after this, I'm going to define my Cloud Firestore configuration. So now I need this configuration copy and just paste it here as it is now before we perform any uh, operation uh, within the database i need to start the database so for that firebase dot initialize app firebase config So I'm using this initialize, initialize app function and passing my Firebase config. So this function is defined within these scripts. So you don't have to worry about it. Now after this, let cloud db Firebase Firestore we need this method to uh, start working with our cloud firestore database so after these i need to define my button events now we can start writing our functions uh, which will write the data to the database So first I need to refer to this cloud db and then dot collection then the name of the collection. So we are saving the information of students. So the student is the name of the top folder. Then inside the folder we are giving the information of a student. Inside this add method name of std so now i'm defining the fields that i want to save within my firestore database name v so this is the name of the field and this is the value we are providing to that field now after name comes the roll number you can also save a numbers a string boolean and other data types within your firestore database so I am converting this roll number into a number like this 
so i'm saving this uh, roll number as a number so you would know that data types other than string can also be saved within the cloud firestore database these four fields will be created these are the name of those fields and these are the value we are providing to those fields now whatever we are doing here is optional it's only for the purpose that uh, we can detect errors so add document function over here so i need to call the function over here now let's check this out tech v roll number is 100 section is b and gender is male when i press insert the document is written sometimes we need to refresh the database to see the changes so our uh, document is written with a default id which which is generated by the firestore database if you want to run uh, your code in the firefox browser like i'm doing there is a problem when you refresh uh, the website it does not empty these fields and if you press the insert button it will give you error because our update function is not called once so the variables are empty so what you can do is that so now let us create a, a function to add document with a custom id so for that we need to give it a custom id in the doc function i want to give the document the same name as my role number so I am giving it the variable of role v then dot set and open the bracket of set function which will end here and here we don't need the doc ref because uh, we are uh, not generating uh, an auto id so we can just give the role v here and now let's run this custom id function so now if i refresh it it's not a problem i can insert the same data so my id is 100 So you can see that uh, a, a document is created with the ID of 100. Now let's move on. So now we will create uh, our uh, update functions. So, so now uh, I'm just gonna copy this. So I won't have to uh, rewrite it each time. Okay, so this is the method to update the data we just need to change this set to update now what we can do is we can remove we need to remove it is necessary to remove the roll number why because we are saving uh, the uh, our uh, students data on the basis of the roll number so this is the base of our uh, students data so it cannot be changed but the name the section and the gender can be changed so now let's try to update the data now 
now let's change this to code verse and end the section to a update so the uh, document with the id 100 is updated now let's check it so the name and the section is updated now let's create the function for deleting the data i'm again gonna copy this and I need to change this to delete and also I don't need to specify any properties because I just have I just have to give the name of the document which is the roll number now let's try to run this delete function So I don't need any of these. I just need the roll number to delete my document. So document deleted. You can see here the document is gone. Now let's create the final function for selecting the data. Now I'm gonna use the get function and then I need to clear this out so after the get function let's clear this dot then function and a doc parameter if the document exists name t dot value should equals to dog dot data dot name of the student so i'm actually referring to my input text box which i which i referenced here so i am referring to my name text box value so whatever is written inside the name text box and then here in this function i am retrieving the whole document which is the which matches this roll number so we we are retrieving that whole document then we are extracting the data from it in this line so we are extracting the name and then putting it into the into our name text box and same with the section text box now if the document does not exist console.log dog does not exist and we can also define a catch which will catch the error so if anything goes wrong this will trigger so this is how we are going to retrieve our document we have uh, the whole documents data and we are extracting it uh, into our text boxes one by one so this is I have mistaken here select so now uh, we are retrieving the data successfully So this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time